Okay, I've already made this video once and then I realized at the end of the video I made one simple mistake that threw off the entire calculation. So um, when you do this, do it on paper and do each step very carefully. Okay, so to find an inverse, what you do is you can write the 3 by 3 matrix. Here, let me see if I can type that. Here, I'm going to grab that bracket for just a second. That'll be cleaner looking. Okay, so here's my 3x3 three three matrix. And then draw a vertical bar of the bracket to close it. And then write the identity matrix. One's in the diagonal, zeros everywhere else. I should use typing. Okay. And what you're going to do is use row operations to change the left side to be equal to the right side. To be equal to the identity matrix, I should say. It's going to change the right side. The right side will be your uh, your inverse matrix. Okay, so if you need a refresher on row, reduce, on, on row reduction methods, you modify one row at a time, and you want to have ones on the diagonal. Okay, so start by getting one in one of your columns, and then make zeros below. So I'm going to take row one, and I'm going to divide it by negative eight. Same thing as multiplying by negative one eighth, right? And so what that's going to do is negative uh, one eighth. And sorry, negative eight divided by negative eight makes one. We're supposed to have one in the diagonal, but I still got to do the same thing to every other number. So one divided by negative eight makes negative one eighth. And then one divided by negative one eighth makes negative one eighth. And then over here, still got to do the same thing. One divided by negative one eighth makes negative one eighth. Then zero divided by negative eight makes zero. Zero divided by negative one eighth makes zero. And then I haven't, I don't change any uh, any part of the matrix anywhere else. We keep this as negative six, this is negative one, this is one, zero, this is one, this is zero. And then this is still five, negative one, that's still a zero, 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 one. Okay, it's easier than me writing it out by hand. We've got one in the diagonal where it's supposed to be. Your temptation might be to start making this turn into a one, but you don't want to do that yet, okay? Your next step is to make everything else be a zero below the one. So we've got to modify row two. I'm going to take row two, and I'll divide that by six. The other option is you could add negative six times row one to it. I think this will be easier. It's less confusing. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. We want it to be a zero. That would make one. I messed up. You do have to do this. Take row two and add negative six times row one to it. Because negative six times one makes negative six. Negative six plus six makes zero. Right? So that's why getting the one in the diagonal is important to start. So I'm keeping the top the same. Okay, and the bottom. I'm taking negative 6 times the, the value for row 1 and adding it. So negative 6 plus 6 makes 0. And then negative 6 times row 1. So negative 6 times negative 1 eighth makes 6 eighths. In other words, 3 fourths, right? So 3 fourths plus negative 4 fourths makes negative 1 fourth. And then negative 6 times, that's, that's a positive 3 fourths. 3 fourths plus 4 fourths makes 7 fourths. And then negative 6 eighths times negative 1 eighth, that's 3 fourths. 3 fourths plus 0 makes 3 fourths. Then we've got a 0 here. And then 0. Here. Oh, sorry, this is a 1 here, right? Because negative 6 times row 1 is 0. 0 plus 1 still makes 1. I almost made a mistake there. Then everything else stays the same. Okay, we still need a 0 down here. So I'm going to take row 3, I'm going to add negative 5 times row 1. So that's what that 1 in the diagonal helps us easily do. So that's why we always start with that. So this stays the same. I could just copy and paste this row. Oh, that's so much better. This stays the same. But then down here, negative 5 times 1 makes negative 5. Negative 5 plus 5 makes 0. 
Negative 5 times negative 1 eighths makes 5 eighths. 5 eighths plus negative 1 makes negative 3 eighths. And then negative 1 eighths times 5, negative 5 makes 5 eighths. 5 eighths plus 0 makes 5 eighths. And then negative 5 times 1 eighths makes, makes 5 eighths. 5 eighths plus 0 makes 5 eighths. So negative 5 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 makes 0. Negative 5 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 makes 1. Okay, so we're getting closer. We got a 1 with zeros below. Now we need to have a 1 here. So I'm going to take row 2 and I'm going to multiply by negative 4. So row 2 times negative 4. So copy this, and row two is getting changed. So row two, I'm only modifying row two with this operation. Zero times negative four makes zero. Negative four times negative one fourth makes one. Negative four times negative seven fourths makes negative seven. Negative four times three fourths makes negative three. Negative four times one makes negative four. Negative four times zero makes zero. Okay, so we've got a 1 in the diagonal, and we want a 0 here. So to make that happen, I can use that new 1 that I created on the second column. I'm going to take row 3 and add 3 eighths times row 2. That way, uh, 3 eighths times 0 makes 0. Wait, oh, sorry, I'm modifying. I deleted the wrong row and it won't let me undo. Okay, let me just show you where we are. I copied it. I deleted the wrong thing. We're modifying row three, not row two. So row three is changing. So I'm taking three eighths times row two. So three eighths times zero is zero. Zero plus zero makes zero. 3 eighths times 1 is 3 eighths. 3 eighths plus negative 3 eighths makes 0, just like we wanted. And 3 eighths times negative 7 is negative 21 eighths. Negative 21 eighths plus 5 eighths. Uh, that's negative 16 eighths, which is negative 2, I think. I did that right. 3 eighths times negative 3 is negative 9 eighths. <clears throat> negative 9 eighths plus 5 eighths makes negative 4 eighths. So that's negative 1 half. 3 eighths times negative 4. Um, they cross simplify, so uh, it comes to negative 12 eighths, which is negative 6 fourths, which is negative 3 halves. And then right here, 3 eighths times 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 still makes 1. <clears throat> okay, so we got 1 on the diagonal. 1 on the diagonal. We need a 1 here. So we'll just modify row 3. I'm going to take row 3 and divide it by negative 2. So 0 divided by negative 2 is 0. 0 divided by negative 2 is 0. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1. Uh, then we've got negative 1 half divided by negative 2. So it's like multiplying by negative 1 half. So that's positive 1 fourth. Then negative 3 halves divided by negative 2. That's like multiplying by negative 1 half. So that's going to be a positive 3 fourths now. And then 1 divided by negative 1 half makes... This so divide by negative 2 makes negative 1 half. Let's give ourselves some space here. Okay, getting closer. Now we just need zeros over here. So I'm going to copy this because I ran out of room on my whiteboard. And I'm sure you're running out of room on your paper if you're following along with me. It's crazy, isn't it? Oh, come on. Copy and paste. Let's go. There we go. Okay. So let's delete everything. Give myself a clean slate. Okay. 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 There we go. So there's our dividing line. Got our matrices back here. Now I've got to turn this into a zero, this into a zero, and this into a zero. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take row one off screen apparently. Come on, Adobe. Row one, and I want to add one eighth times row two to it because one eighth times one gives me one eighth, and one eighth plus negative one eighth makes zero. So we're just modifying row one here. And look, that's the nice thing about having zeros underneath because it doesn't mess up your work. One eighth times zero, zero. Zero plus one makes one. One eighth times one makes one eighth. One eighth plus one eighth makes zero. One eighth times negative seven makes negative seven eighths. Negative seven eighths plus negative one eighth makes negative one. Uh, one eighth times negative three. This is negative three eighths. Negative three eighths plus negative four eighths makes negative one half. One eighth times negative four is negative four eighths. Negative four eighths plus that's us. In other words, one half. One half plus zero is one half. And then one eighth times zero is zero. Zero plus zero makes zero. Uh, okay, so we've got zero, zero, we've got ones on the diagonal, now we just need to make these two be zero. So we'll use that pivot that we have down there, that one in the bottom. So I'm going to take row one and add, oh, I'm just going to add row through to it, because one plus negative one makes zero. Oh, no. No. It won't let me undo. I accidentally, here, I can redo this. Other than zero. That's negative 7 eighths plus negative 1 eighths, so it makes negative 1. Negative 3 eighths, that's negative 4 eighths, which is negative 1 half. Yeah. So that's negative 4, so that's negative 1 half here as well. And that makes 0. Okay. So to get a 0 in the top right corner, I just need to add row, t row 3 to it. Yeah. So let's copy this. Paste it. Here's our dividing line. If you need to see matrix again this is what it looks like and so i'm actually just modifying the top again i'm taking row one so i'm taking the top right top line i'm adding the bottom line zero plus one makes one so that doesn't change zero plus zero makes zero so that doesn't change one plus negative one makes zero one fourth plus negative one half that makes negative one negative one fourth three fourths plus one half so that's negative Two fourths plus three fourths that should make positive one fourths, and then negative one half plus zero makes negative one half. And almost done. There's one last step. We just need to take row two and add seven times row three to it, because seven plus negative seven will make zero. Okay. So just modifying this row. Zero times seven makes zero. 0 plus 0 makes 0. So that stays the same. 7 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. 7 times 7 is se 7. Times one is 7. 7 plus negative 7 makes 0. Sometimes 1 fourth is 7 fourths. Oh, this is going to be tricky. So that's negative 12 fourths plus 7 fourths. That's negative 12 fourths plus 7 fourths. That's negative 5 fourths. Seven, that's 21 fourths plus negative 4. So that's negative 16 over 4 plus 21 over 4. I can't juggle that in my head. That's negative 16 fourths plus 21 fourths of 21 minus 16. That can't be right. Negative 16 fourths plus, yeah, that is right. Let's, I should probably write this out by hand. But I'm doing it the bad way. So I got 5 fourths. And then 7 times negative 1 half is negative 7 half. So this would be negative 7 half. Okay, let's check and see if I get this right. Our final answer. Okay, so here's the correct answer. We got that part, that part, that part, that part, that part, that part, that part. We got it. Okay. But it was really tedious, right? You got to be really careful about each calculation. But this is the inverse matrix, the one on the right side over here.